in the garage today and had a bunch of young guys going, coming over and we're all just, you know, fellowshipping. And uh, they're telling me about their fights. A lot of their fights, like, hey, I got into a fight with so-and-so, so-and-so, he showed up. And the, the story they're having behind this fight, so I'm, <laughs> I'm looking at them and I'm going, hey, uh, why were y'all fighting in the first place? And every story had to be about a girl. Every time they got into a fight, it was some girl behind it. And I was like, well, are you with that girl? Like, no, I don't give a damn about that girl. I'm like, well, why would you risk your life about the girl? Like, why would you go out there and risk your life about a girl you don't care about? It doesn't make sense to me. So I, I was thinking to myself, like, hey, that'd be a great topic. Through your whole life, every time you got into a fight, was it always about a girl or was it about something else? And I thought to myself, I was like, until recently, it's always been about some girl. There's always a girl behind it. Um, I can say for myself, no. Only because specifically, I peep what you're talking about a while ago as far as my homeboys and some of the things I was seeing. And I made a conscious decision that it, it's not going to be me. <laughs> In fact, I used to make a joke all the time. Like, the, I'm not going to let one of these chicks put me on a damn t-shirt. Like, I'm, I'm straight. That was like a thing that I was like super like I was super adamant against like not doing it. like never putting myself in a position where like I'm out of here because you know whatever is going on with you know a a woman. But I'll say this: I mean, it's very common. It's very common. I've seen a lot of people like really about to lose their life over like a relationship with a person who is not even a relationship. Like, you might smash once and she's not even really that into you. She's kind of into the guy that <laughs> you want to fight. <laughs> and she really likes him. In fact, they have sex all the time and they just want you just get it, get it through your head that it's over, but you won't get it. <laughs> you keep forcing the issue. I really hope that's not a thing. <laughs> that uh, goddamn boy. Ooh. That yeah. sounds like a life. Oh, it is a thing. It is. It is a thing. Ooh, I, shit, I, I, my- like I said, every, you know, we've talked about dating a lot on the show. And what I'll say is this, man. Dating is cold-blooded. It's, it's, it's rough. And everyone's trying to go for this. Every, everybody's trying to go for theirs or whatever. And I'm saying, man, the male ego is so much more fragile than people make it out to be. And men are so much more sensitive than people make it out to be. And I don't think, I think maybe there's a stigma with men where it's like men can't be sensitive and men can't be told the things. I feel that there's great strength and solace with just <laughs> saying how I feel. Uh, like if I if I feel if I feel like I can't trust you or you're not someone I should talk to, I just won't say anything. But when I have the opportunity to, if I feel like you've passed, I, I say it because at the end of the day, it's like so many of us just so bottled up and we're tough, Arr, arr, we're tough, and then. A girl like winks at somebody else, and then the guy like you know flirts back, and it's like, "I'm gonna beat everybody." Yes. And it's like, "Why? What, what, wait, what's going on?" It's... Well, I can understand Girls. that to a certain point. I can get it. I understand it. Um, you didn't. Uh... <laughs> that's that's a, that's an off topic. Right? That's an off topic conversation. Talk no, what? go ahead, guys. tell me. <laughs> No, 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 go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I, I don't know what you're talking about. So I, don't I don't want to say. I don't want to say okay. that. It's name. cool. I don't want to say that fellow's name. It's cool to you. Uh, <laughs> <to> you. <laughs> oh, just tell me. Tell me the situation. You don't, you don't say. Remember, uh, remember, remember that first. Remember the first part of you threw. Oh, you talking about that sure. nigga that tried to talk to my girl? Like, <laughs> nigga, like, but you didn't beat him. But, but what I'm saying is, you didn't beat him up. You just kind of looked at him. Like, okay. Yeah, if you take, listen, if you take my girl, that's not my girl. That's your girl. I just share every once in a while. That's it. That's your girl. <laughs> like, I'm not going to fight you about no girl. I'm going to fuck you when I get ready to anyway. Like, that's your girl, man. Shit. Now, that's your responsibility. Make sure you take care of it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got to buy food now, not me. You just saved me some money, nigga. Like, that's all you did for me. So I never cared about that kind of shit. And I've always tested, like, any kind of, anytime I ever had a girl, like, I always be like, yo, I let my homeboy shoot at her. And if she shoot, if she go with you, like, then that's not my girl. I don't want you no way. 
100. So I've always allowed my friends to go that's see that's, the level. That sounds very toxic, fellas. It sounds like very toxic. Man. Is it toxic? I feel like that was the right thing to do. Cause like, I cause... Think... How? <laughs> what? How is it toxic or how is that the right thing to do? How is that toxic? Toxic. To be, to be like, to be like, I let my, I, I send my homeboys to go shoot at my girlfriend. I'm not saying I send them to you. Mm-hmm. I'm not sending them. Or my I let them to test their loyalty. Yeah. And they go, oh, you like, like you mind if I shoot at it? Go for it, man. How about <laughs> just taking care and loving the girls that you love? Because she's going to do the shit. She, she's going to do what she wants to do regardless. Like she's going to do what she wants to do regardless. The cre- God's creatures. Let's, but, but, let's, let's just, let's, let's say this, Mark. Let's say, this is how I look at it, right? <laughs> that's why I did not let well, people talk to you. Because you are a horrendous in <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> Full circle. <laughs> you are Very horrendous. Funny. I just want everybody to know this is why I didn't I didn't I didn't sign off on that one. Well, let Maybe me explain. not that one. <laughs> let me explain. Okay. Sometimes let's say you get three girls, right? You get a group of chicks that you 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 speak to one, but you're not really you don't it's not like a set thing. She's the one that just said, come over here. And you see her friends, you're like, damn, I wish I would have talked to her friend first. Don't you wish you have the, don't, don't you <laughs> want the, the same? Hit that switch, <laughs> rotation. Don't you want the same respect <laughs> that you give them? Like, you know, you might not want me. You might see my homeboy and be like, oh, he way tougher than you. I want to give you the opportunity. Just give me that same opportunity. That's all I want. <laughs> so that's how I've always looked at it. It's, I want the same opportunity I'm giving you. I'm gonna give you the opportunity of picking me and my friends. If you don't want them, that's okay too. But if you do, they they're they're out there. I'm not gonna be mad at you. I'm not gonna look at you no kind of way. Mm-hmm. You just chose. You didn't choose me. But at the same time, I go well. Your friends are tough too. I might went to one on the left. I saw you first, but I fucked up. <laughs> I want the other one now. <laughs> that's that peppy right there. See that temp- that, that peppy. Man. <laughs> that's that peppy. Man. Yeah. No, I, I, I did that. Hey, 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 Mark, I'll do this. Uh, no, come on, come on, come on, come on. Who's that? Oh, <laughs> but yeah, that's how I've always looked at it. So it's like, you know, as far as girls with me, I never really, I'm not going to fight you about no girl. That, that's crazy. There's too many, too many girls to fight about one. Okay. Uh, well, I mean, or Tim, what are your thoughts as far uh, as? Yeah, man. Um, there's definitely too many women to um, fight for it. I mean, like, if it's worth it, go for it. Like, if it's just starting out. But, nah, I've never, I never faced that. that what if she's the one, Tim? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If she's the one, like, go for it. But. So if she's the one. Outside I of that, like, <laughs> how do you? She wouldn't put you in a fucked up situation if she's the one. <laughs> Maybe she doesn't know that you're the one. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, everybody doesn't line up, right? Yeah, I mean, like, maybe, maybe she, maybe she doesn't know that you're the one. <laughs> like, just because you know, so like, listen, just because you know, just because you feel that you know that someone is the one for you, right? Doesn't mean that person agrees. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what are you talking about? I don't know. I just feel like, I feel like no one that does the one is going to put you in a, in a situation where you, you're like over here whooping ass. <laughs> like she just won't allow that to happen. That's why you what know if she she's doesn't, the what one. What if she doesn't know that you know, you're, you're the one for her? But she yeah. knows when you're whooping ass in the middle of whooping ass, she's like, that's him. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, listen, I'm not encouraging any male. To go she fight. In the middle of a group of niggas, she's like, That's I'm not encouraging any male. I'm not encouraging any male to go out there and you know, put himself in jeopardy. <laughs> you know, no, I'm not saying that. But what I am saying is that, you know, there there are men. I mean, you might. There are other ways of fighting besides push. You know, actually putting your hands on something. Physically. Maybe yeah. fight for her love or fight. You know, jump in the goblet. Mm-hmm. Like if you know your homeboy, your homeboy got a better shot. Oh shit, that's kind of hate. That's kind of dirty. 
That's why he said he better go get some flowers. That's pretty much awesome. yeah, dirty back right there. What are y'all niggas? I'm like, damn, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Oh, so mine is the what? My, my girlfriend's the one. The heart. What for you? Yep. She, she's the nah, one man. Mark, for me. She was the one for me. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> so you're telling me you had to take it to a five star restaurant? <laughs> my yes. girl? Dirty I just Mac. I saw her. And I, I dirty just don't... Mac. It. That's so that is dirty. <laughs> Mark, yeah. Mark ain't on no real shit. Nigga. Let me take it. <laughs> Which is like something that ever took you to a five star restaurant. He ain't never done this, huh? <laughs> man. No, I think it's, it's like. It's different at different times in the relationship. So, like at the beginning, there's like different levels of it. Of like everybody's on the same level, so you could attack it more aggressively. But like to Chris's point, like if that woman is already your lady, and you're already feeling her, hopefully that's being reciprocated. Um, there should be no question. So, like yeah, like if she's presented with another opportunity. That should be shut down. And if it's not, it ain't your girl, it's not dog. Your <laughs> it ain't your girl, dog. That's everybody's girl. This hoe is mine. <laughs> got to get, got to get that. <laughs> That's everybody's girl at this point. <laughs> Man. But nah, I've, I've never, never been through that situation. So. Yeah. You never been in a situation where you have to fight for your love. Mm-mm. Someone say that I have. Someone say that are you actually in love? Have you ever experienced love? I'm married. <laughs> and and <laughs> I, I I don't believe marrying somebody I don't you know care greatly. <laughs> I, I don't do kind of sort of. <laughs> I don't do business arranged. Uh, I just, I'm just asking. Do you do you know that you're what you love? I have to say here. Uh, <laughs> I love my wife. <laughs> <laughs> I I love my wife so much. <laughs> it's the best thing that I have ever 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 been a part of. Uh-huh. <laughs> And she is great. I love Lance. <laughs> <laughs> I love table. I love Lance. Oh man. <laughs> she my wife is nowhere around here. <laughs> <laughs> I just love my wife. <laughs> I love my wife. I love her. <laughs> oh. I don't know what that made me take. <laughs> Oh man! So you yeah, definitely yeah. fought for her love. <laughs> yeah, you have no choice, guys. This is a hard conversation at this point. <laughs> she came in the room. <laughs> All right, guys. So this has been another great edition of the Talk Podcast. I'm one half, one third of your glamorous and gracious host of 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 pundits who come to you every week to give you. Topics to discuss. <laughs> My name is Money Mark. I got <laughs> Lifestyle Flash and Chris over here. And I got Just Tim on the one dudes. Appreciate you guys. Like, uh, share, subscribe. I hope I see y'all next week. <laughs> Chris, we hope we see you next week. Hopefully, we see you next week, Chris. Hopefully. Um, please, okay. like, share, subscribe. Um, um, tell your friends. <laughs> Tell your friends we made changes. We're trying to do all types of cool shit. Oh, shit. Don't be an asshole. <laughs> like this, like... <laughs> that was very funny. Like I low key might end it right there because that's very funny. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you. Always, we appreciate your listeners, your patronage. Oh, fuck. You guys, we're signing out. Okay. Peace. Peace. We're out. <laughs>